Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more uh, Grand Prix World. This is part three of our Sauber Let's Play. We are in the 1998 season. Things are going okay so far. Um, Jean Alessi is on three points uh, and in ninth position in the Drivers' Championship. Johnny Herbert has picked up the solitary point so far. Uh, I really don't know what I expect in terms of finances, that sort of thing. This first season is all about really learning the game and I think um we will learn probably better from our mistakes than than anything else so uh yeah really looking forward to to getting into it hopefully you've been enjoying the series so far get involved down in the comment section all that good stuff uh to let me know your thoughts let me know any hints or tips but i'm thoroughly enjoying playing it um and and you know sharing my journey with you guys so Let's have a little look at what's going on. So we have got the French Grand Prix coming up. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere where you can look at the calendar, can you? It's going to be this? No. Funding for 1999. So we're going to get 14 million for that, apparently. Here are the FIA regulations. I have no idea what any of this really means. Um, I guess this is just like a history of the save. I've not actually found this screen before. Ah, there you go. So we've got the French Grand Prix, then of course uh, the British Grand Prix, Austria, Germany, Hungary, Belgium, Italy, Luxembourg, and then uh, Japan. So that's interesting. Um, the current standings, as you can see, there you go, so unclassified. We've got Jordan, Prost, Arrows, Stuart, Tyrrell and Minardi. And there's the Drivers' Championship at the moment. Okay, fair enough. Right, uh, let's have a little check on our cars so far. Uh, do they need any repairing? The wear is quite high. So we may well need to fix them up a little bit. So there's one car done. Um, oh yeah, we need to take them off the testing. Uh, ch -ch -ch, yeah. So if we just take them off there, that's fine. I'm going to take that off. We are not going to be doing any more testing for the time being. So let's head back to this. Annoyingly, I bet we could have improved that a little bit more. That's fine. I think 18% and 0% is fine. I don't think we need any repairs. That's fine. Uh, so 60% available mechanics. I think we might benefit from making some more spare parts. So let's go and do that a little bit. Uh, it does say we can upgrade our technology. Um, I don't know what that will do. I don't know. Fair enough. That's upgraded the race cars a little bit. That's surely going to help. Get some more spare parts done. Get that up to five. And then we want to see how next season's car is looking. Doesn't look like we've got any more upgrades just yet. We have. Is that... Yes, yeah, so we have got a new uh, set of intermediate tyres. But nothing else as it stands. Okay. So let's have a look at the 1999 chassis. It's looking pretty good right now. We can get that up to a 100%. Um, and that should give us some time in the CFD simulation. Okay. Cool. So technology... Nice. Oops, whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Let's just sort of clicking the buttons. I think um, I think we pretty much want to focus solely on 1999 at this point. I know we're only halfway through, but you know we're not gonna we're not gonna beat Williams or Bennett. Um, so I think that's that's interesting. Uh, let's have a little look at the engine. We have got that partner deal with Peugeot. We want to work towards that works deal. Uh, the tire um, arrangement. We're, we're closing in on partner. Same for fuel. Uh, we want to start thinking about getting some sponsors in. We have assigned uh, quite a few of our staff towards Red Bull. That would be rather nice. Okay. Right, I think we're we're ready to get our car cars in check for this next race. So let's have a little look. Confirm orders. That's fine. Uh, obviously, gonna have no setup points. That's okay. Uh, we do want to use the new intermediate tyres. I do wonder whether we should try Johnny Herbert perhaps on the soft tyres this weekend just to see how we get on. Because Manicourt, I don't think that should be uh, something that we're worrying about in terms of tyre wear. Okay, that's fine. So, France, first race of the episode. Uh, and it is going to be 27 degrees overcast, high wind speed for qualifying. That's fine. So we are going to have Johnny Herbert on the softs to see how he's getting on. Uh, that's fine by me. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Let's see how we get on in qualifying. And John Alacy does qualify ahead of Johnny Herbert. We're, but we're in the top 10. Now, that's the first time this season, I believe, we've been in that top 10. Jordan have qualified 8 and 9 just ahead of us. What has happened here? It looks like there's a Williams. Have they been disqualified? Yes, Jack Villeneuve has been disqualified. So that's why we are 10th and 11th rather than in our usual spot uh, 23 degrees light rain average wind speed of course we've got the upgraded intermediate tires for the race so that should help us out a little bit um, now with Johnny Herbert it would be quite nice to see him perhaps do a one-stop um, get rid of that so there's 72 laps here how much fuel can we put in we went 60 and 12 just do something absolutely crazy out there i mean could we have a no stop could we have a no stop i mean that that could work out horrifically he could retire his tires could go i don't know I don't know. I have no idea whether they will survive. Um, but with, with uh, John Alacy, we'll go for 40 laps and then 32. So a little bit of a longer first stint just to get that overcut. Let's see how it goes. Hey, he did actually manage to finish the race. John Alacy finishing fifth in the end there. Um, that is a huge result for us. But Jordan, Damon Hill finishing second, that's uh, that's going to move us down. Because Jordan have had a double points finish. So that's a shame. But uh, Johnny Herbert finishing 10th on the no-stop strategy. Uh, Michael Schumacher disqualified. Ed Eddie Irvine, Giancarlo Fisichella, uh, Heinz Harold Frensen, Laurent Redon uh, all out. Uh, but yeah, Jean Alacy finishing 5th place. The first of the drivers only lapped two times by Mika Hakkinen. But uh, he lapped the field up to second. Damon Hill there taking uh, the podium. And Jordan taking fifth off us, which is a bit of a shame. I wish we could have uh, 
done a little bit better there. Right, let's have a look, little look at our car. I mean, the wear is is going up a little bit. Um, we've got two bars on the on the Red Bull deal. That's good. We're now uh, two bars away from the works engine deal. Oh, we're one bar away from the the tire partner deal, but we have got the the partner deal for total which is good so that's a two season partner deal i'm happy with that let's get that signed up um yeah that's fine we might be able to get some bonuses in there so we'll keep people on there for now i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna move it on to five percent now um i'd like to get this engine deal sorted out so let's get that up to fifty percent I want that works deal sorted out very, very quickly. Uh, next VIP event. I hope we didn't. Did we? Have we just spent that? I hope not. I think we have, annoyingly. Um. So silver let's just have a little look at this so silverstone is a three star one um i think we perhaps wait for italy although i suppose we could get stuff wrapped up this weekend if we pop in a little bit more money i think we can get stuff wrapped up this weekend which would be good um maybe if we take five percent off well, who do we want there do we I don't think we need mobile there, do we? Um, got Peugeot. We want Red Bull there. Probably. Okay, so Red Bull have accepted an invitation from another team. Um, who could we get? I suppose we could get Total there. <clears throat> see if we can get some bonuses going uh, I want to look at next year's car how is that getting on so we have finished the design process so we can proceed to the CFD simulation stage so let's, let's chuck 100% of our mechanics on that to get that sorted and that should hopefully get us going a little bit nice okay uh, Jordan has completed a team sponsorship deal uh, anything else I don't think there's anything else in there oh Benetton has signed Juan Pablo Montoya And uh, Shinji Nakano is going to Jordan. Okay. Fair enough. Right, cool. Okay. Uh, let's get our car sorted out a little bit. We are experiencing a little bit of wear. So if we go into maintenance... Um, are we using car three at the moment? We are using car three. I, th well, car three is actually the best of the lot. If we fix up, car one, that's fine. So that will help. There we go. So that's all we needed. And car three. Get that sorted out. Nice. And get just down to four percent, that's okay. Don't need any repairs just yet, that's good. Uh don't think we need to do that particularly. Although we could, couldn't we? That's probably gonna be the cheapest way to build spare parts rather than only when we need them 
So we've got 2.3 million. It is going down a, a little bit, though. Must admit. Probably a bit quicker than we want it to go down. That's fine. Okay. Right, let's uh, have a look for the next Grand Prix then. We'll confirm those orders. That looks fine. Uh, still on that, but we have got a new evolution of fuel, which is going to be good for both cars. Let's get that in play. Nice. And uh, let's get ourselves into the race. We can put them all on pit stops now, weirdly. Sounds fine. Ah. Put the rest on car scrutiny, why not? Cool. Let's go. To the British Grand Prix, it would be nice to get a good result here. Be in my home Grand Prix, of course. And Johnny Herbert's home Grand Prix. It give him a favourable strategy this time, I think. So it is dry, very high winds. It's fine. It's okay. So there you go. Uh, P11 for a Lacey. Now the Prost of Panis did qualify better than uh, Johnny Herbert. Not entirely sure why Herbert was so slow there. Uh, comparable to John Lacey. But uh, Mika Hakkinen on pole, Coulthard second, Schumacher third, Irvine fourth, Vertins fifth, and Giancarlo Fisichella in sixth. The two Williams seventh and eighth. Uh, dry race then. It is quite cool out there though. So that is something to bear in mind. Certainly with uh, Johnny Herbert, we are going to go for the one stopper. So 60 laps involved. So. Get that to about 35. Get that overcut going. 38. That seems good to me. And then uh, 22 for the second part, part of the race. John O'Lacy. Uh, 2, 1, 0, 5, All of them. He can two stop it. And let's see how we get on. Ooh, Johnny Herbert looks like he's retired, but John O'Lacy did uh, finish in ninth place. Looks like the Ferraris were two and three. David Coulthard winning his home Grand Prix. Averts in fourth. Villeneuve and Frensen get sixth and seventh there. Uh, what happened to Herbert? Suspension issue. Interesting. But uh, that's a shame that he had to retire from his home Grand Prix. Means we are still in sixth in the championship. Right, uh, we need to very desperately get our VIP package off the table. We do not want that uh, anymore. Let's see if we have had any more. Oh, goodness me, we're one bar off. We are one bar off. Uh, the fuel, that's looking good, as I say. Uh, we'll keep 5% on for now. Only three bars on the Red Bull sponsorship deal. Um, it's possibly worth seeing if we can get some more some more hands on a deal see if we can get 5% on east and just see what they fancy get another 5% on red bull See if we can do it. Maybe we do need a, a couple of more commercial stuff there. So I think it looks okay at the moment. Um, 
How's our car getting on for next year? So, the way, first of all. Only 14% on car one, which I think was Johnny Herbert's. Let's have a look at our 1999 car. Ooh, already got halfway through the CFD simulation. That's very, very good. Um, and then we've got modelling and wind tunnel time. We obviously need time to build the, the 1999 cars as well. But at the moment, things are kind of now pretty well, I think. <laughs> you know, it could quite easily be getting all of this wrong. I think we're doing okay for now. Okay, right, let's get this car fixed. Car 3. Yep, that seems fine to me. And let's get that fixed up as well. So we've got two fresh cars going into the Austrian Grand Prix. And we don't need to do testing. That's fine. Right, let's get into our next Grand Prix then. We will confirm the team orders. Um, confirm setup. That's fine. We're using the latest stuff of that. That's okay. And the Brit crew are all sorted, so let's get into it. Okay, so uh, we have got a very dry average wind speed. Well, that's fine by me. Jean Alessi. Uh, oh, we've still got Herbert on softs. I didn't realise that we'd done that, but that's fine. Uh, Alessi qualifies in 11th, Herbert in 12th there, just a tenth shy. Um, it looks like the Jordans have gained a couple of tenths on us. So that's something to keep an eye on going into the race. So it is dry out there. Let's maybe go two-stop strategy for a lacy once again. And with Johnny Herbert, 40 laps and then 31 for the race. So 40 laps, 31, let's uh, get ourselves on some brand new tyres. That looks good to me. Okay. Don't think we need that, that's fine. Okay. Here we go then. Hey, Alessi finishes in 7th position. Doesn't quite get a point, but uh, shows that his pace is pretty decent. Unfortunately, uh, Herbert is out, and it's an unknown accident. I don't actually know what's happened there for Alessi. Uh, for Herbert. Huh. I'm going to actually reduce this a little bit to see if that helps us at all. I'm going to actually go a little bit more aggressive. Looks fine. Just see what happens with that. Right, let's confirm that. Um, we can now go into this and work out what on earth happened to our car. It has got a bit of damage, but nothing particularly to worry about. No idea. That is fine. I think everything else will we'll keep that the same for now. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, get some spares built. And then we'll look at all of our commercial stuff. On 1.6 million now. Spent a lot of money all of a sudden. I'm not sure where that money's gone. No idea. Because I'm fairly sure we didn't do any dodgy stuff, did we? <laughs> we did we didn't do the VIP stuff. Huh. I don't know. That's okay. Right. Uh Okay, let's have a little look then. So, Team A, we've got them up a little bit. That's good. Who's the other person? It was East, wasn't it? But East have signed to another team, so that was actually a waste of our energy. Oh, we have got the works deal. We have got the works deal with Peugeot. Now, that is going to be really, really good. So let's get that signed, sealed, and delivered. That is good. So we have got the works deal in place with Peugeot. We've got the partnership in place as well with Goodyear. So we are sorted for all of that. Now, I think we could look for bonuses. I think the engine bonuses are probably going to be the best. So why don't we leave 20% on that? We're going to leave 10% on that and 10% on that. And we are going to look for some cash sponsors. So we've got Castrol. So let's get 20% on that. We have still got 15% available. Uh, HSPC, get 10% on that one. And let's stick 5% more on Red Bull. To see if we can get that up a little bit. But that is looking good. I'm very, very happy with that. We've got a works deal in place for the next two seasons. We've, of course, got the Diners Dollars as well. Uh, let's just make sure that this is saved. So that we're, we're in a good position. Um, okay, I think that's good. Let's have a look at the factory. Hey, nice. So we've uh, finished that nice and early as well. So I think we're, we're in an awesome position for 1999. Certainly the first half of it. Um, we're on to modelling already. So we'll have... A round on that, and then two rounds, wind tunneling. That should be good. Okay, good. And this is before we've got my gas going coming as well. Uh, let's have a little look and see if there's any interesting news. I don't think so. So they signed with Benetton, that's fine. Okay. Fine. Let's uh, go to the car and get that sorted out for the next Grand Prix. So we need to confirm the setup. We shall confirm the assembly as well. I don't think we've got any new spec tyres. No, that's fine. Okay. No. Oh. Unconfirmed assembly. So we need to back out of that. That's fine. Okay. Right. Uh, let's go through. So it's going to be very dry, high winds. We are going to make sure that Johnny Herbert is on the hard tyre this time. That's fine. Okay. See where they qualify. Oh, eighth and ninth. Very, very good. I don't know where that's come from, that performance. But, uh, well, I, I think 
Oh no, Villeneuve is, is there. Nobody was banned from qualifying. We've uh, massively outperformed the Jordans there. And uh, both Prost cars and the, uh, Williams of Jacques Villeneuve. So we might have some chance of points here. Obviously, I upped the aggression a little bit, didn't I? So I don't know whether that's going to have made any difference. Perhaps it has. Perhaps it has. Right. Johnny Herbert is going to be on a one-stopper. He There's only 45 laps, of course. So he is going to do... Uh, 28 laps and then 17 being on that uh, lower fuel strategy a little later on should help him out meanwhile John Lacey is going to be on 15 15 15 and that looks okay to me Okay, right, let's get into the race and see what happens. Nice, a double points finish, fifth and sixth. Uh, Johnny Herbert finishes fifth for Sauber. Uh, we've got a Lacey there in sixth. Uh, the two McLarens and two Ferraris just ahead of us. But that is a very good Grand Prix for us. Villeneuve finishes seventh. Uh, Jordan uh, only finishing as high as eighth. There were some retirements there, Prost. Uh, Benetton's uh, both cars and uh, Damon Hill's Jordan so that did help us out but that has got Alacy back up to ninth in the championship uh, Herbert now 11th and uh, we are back up to 5th so a bit of a battle with Jordan between now and the end of the season which is which is rather nice let's, let's be honest about that um, we have got some stuff available so I'm not sure what has happened here Oh, we have got a deal for Red Bull. 20 million. I think we do want to get that signed right now. So we have got a team sponsor in the bank. Uh, Castrol, they've already signed to another team. HSBC have as well. I think we can possibly get some other cash sponsors going. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, if we get rid of the teams that have already got a a deal. Let's uh, let's see if we can get Visa going. That would be a, a nice one. Uh, fuel. Have we got any bonuses there? Not looking likely. Nothing there. Nothing there. I don't think we need 30% on that anymore. Go back to the 10%. I mean, that that was quick. We managed to get that fairly quick, didn't we? What else could we have here? There is still a, a few good ones left. Why not MasterCard as well? Get 30% on that one. Or 20%, whatever we have left. We don't want any of that. That's fine. Uh, so we are going to have a, a, a decent amount of, of money for next year. Right, let's have a little look at our stuff. So it was 21.5 million this year. It'll be 20 million next year. We're of course going to get paid 11 million for our works deal with um... Peugeot, and then, of course, we're not going to be paying for our tyres or our fuel, which I think is really good. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, cool. Cool. Right. What are the, the bonuses this year? Do we have any? No, apparently not. So it's not really going to make any difference. Let's have a look at the cars. How are they looking? They're looking pretty darn worn, aren't they? Um, let's get John Alacy into car two. That's fine. Yep. Uh, we'll get those fixed up. There you go. Two spares. It's not bad. Get car two sorted as well. 
Nice. Good. Okay. And uh, we have 20% available to get some more spares done. That's fine by me. Let's have a little look at our 1999 chassis. So let's work this out. So we've got round 12. How much is it going to cost us to get a 1990 car sorted? Uh, ah, well, on this year's, it's going to cost us about 900,000 to get two cars. Which should be fine, because we're, we're of course going to get plenty of money. We might not have a lot of money at the start of next season, but we should have plenty coming. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Right, I think we need to probably make some more spares while we can then. Because these are probably going to be the last spares that we make this season for this year's car. Now just to tick us over a little bit, I might sell another 5% of the team. Depending on what the share price is. We've just had a good race, so I'm assuming they will be fairly good. Um, where do you do it again? Is it in this? Yep. Shares, 165. So yeah, if we just sell 5% of the team, that gets us, you know, back up and running a little bit. Okay, I think I think we're in a in a good position again. So let's uh, head to the next Grand Prix, and I'm hoping for another good result here. It'd be rather nice if we could manage it. Have we got any? New fuel. Oh, we have got some new soft tyres. So we might use them because they do look good. So I'll use them on both cars. And that might might help us. We'll see. Okay. Into the Hungarian Grand Prix we go. Uh, we are going to be starting with a very dry, very high wind speed track. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we qualify in 10th and 13th on the grid. Quite a way behind the Jordan of Ralph Schumacher, but ahead of the Jordan of Damon Hill. Jano Trulli's Prost ahead of Johnny Herbert in 13th there. Okay. So, into the race, we are, of course, on soft tyres, so I think we'll give Johnny Herbert the, the short straw of trying to survive more than half the race on soft tyres, but uh, other than that, we'll give Damon Hill the pleasure of a two-stop strategy. Sure that the fuel is out. There we go. Okay, right. Let's see how we get on. Seventh and eighth. Unlucky there. Damon Hill does get uh, two points for Jordan. Um, Alacy two laps down. Herbert two laps down. But seventh and eighth is not too bad. Uh, Eddie Irvine for Ferrari was disqualified. <clears throat> But yeah, finishing ahead of you know most of our competitors. A shame that we didn't get that final point because now Jordan have gone back ahead of us. We're both on nine points. It is very, very, very close, isn't it? Right, let's see how our dealings going on. So Mastercard are talking to us, which is good. Uh, Visa was the other one that we were looking at, wasn't it? But I think Visa must have gone. So we need to perhaps put a little bit more 
onto MasterCard. And why don't we have a little look on Korean Air as well? Put 25% on that. How's that looking? 10%. I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to get any sort of bonuses. Might abandon ship with all of that and just try and get some cash sponsors. I don't think we're going to get any bonuses now. But getting all of that sorted is very, very handy. Because we're now sorted for the next two seasons and, and now we can really focus on on getting some big sponsors in early on next season. So I'm going to put 25% on these and 25% on those as well. Cool. Looks fine. Yep, yeah, glad I sold when we did. Oh, the car's looking. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, how's next season's car looking? That's pretty good, isn't it? So if we finish that off, we need to rent a wind tunnel. I don't know how you do that. Where do you rent the wind tunnel? Oh, we need to finish that first. Okay. Go to the factory screen. Where's the factory screen? There. Wind tunnel higher. That's fine. Okay. So now we can finish that. And we can proceed to the wind tunnel, and we can put 100% on that. And the car, looking decent so far. Gotta say. So we can have probably two rounds in that. And then we can start building our 1999 cars, which would be awesome. Awesome stuff. Cool. Right. Um... Let's get ourselves repaired up. It's a pity you can't just, uh, you know, use your, your mechanics for both of them. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I don't want to spend any more money, if, if at all possible. So, yeah, things are looking... Looking up for us, aren't they? They are looking up for us, definitely. Okay. Williams has fired Jack Villeneuve. Well, what has happened there? So who is driving for Williams now? I mean, I know... Jack Villeneuve wasn't having a, a great um, a great season. I mean, we're looking at like second best funded team for next season at the moment, which is good. But yeah, I'm trying to work out who's uh, driving for Williams now. I mean, why? Frenson wasn't doing great. Um, I guess do we look at the at the drivers? If we went on this. They'll tell us. And they've got Zanardi in. Okay. Wow. So Villeneuve, uh, of course, is signed up for next season. I think, yeah, all fired. But he is contracted Ferrari next year. Wow. I don't really know what he did particularly wrong. 
there you go. We can, of course, uh, appoint more staff in these fields. Maybe we're going to want some good engineers to start building our new car, since we are going to have a decent amount of money next season. Let's get that going a little bit. But uh, I think we will leave it there for today. We'll finish off the season in the next episode. But I think things are looking very, very promising uh, for our 1999 season. Uh, we have managed to, to pick up some really good deals for our engine. Um, and of course our tyres and fuel all looking good for next season. Really, really happy with that. Uh, of course, we've got to Total uh, in there. They're currently a Prost partner. We're going to become their partner next season. Uh, they've got some good cash. They've got some good R&D potential, I think. I think that's going to be good. It's going to be a step forward, I think, for us next season. Uh, the Goodyear tyres, hopefully the R&D will be good. We are going to be... a um, a partner with them next season. We are currently on the... Uh, no, no, we are on Goodyear tyres anyway, which is fine. The engine, we are going to be with Peugeot next season as a works team taking over from Prost. And that, that's that got to it's gotta be good. Got to be good. Um, there's going to be some R&D potential in there. I mean, potentially, we could start looking for a Ferrari works deal. It's looking like nobody's going to grab that at this point certainly haven't seen it um but benetton are also going to be a works team with mercedes at the thought i thought ferrari were already doing that next season um oh visa went to minardi well 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 and yeah partner partner deal for moog and honda yeah. Cool. Right, well, I think that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Grand Prix content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.